Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another review. And for the subject of this video, we're going to be doing a, a review of a 1970s TV show. Uh, I haven't done a TV show review in a while. Uh, I'm doing a, a sh review of the 1970s CBS uh, show called The White Shadow. Drawing uh, Ken Howard. Now, those of you who don't know, more aren't familiar with the show, this show is about uh, Ken Howard playing uh, a store, Big Stretch. He has the same first name as his real life, you know, as in real life. Uh, playing Captain Ken Reeves, who is a basketball uh, all store, one of the best basketball players in the, in, in the country. Uh, in one particular game, he hurts his knee. And of course, he didn't have the type of surgeries back in the 70s that he can now. And he tried to come back, and he wasn't the same player as he was before he hurt his knee, and he had to retire. Uh, so, so an old friend of his, his old college roommate, does now have to be the principal of a inner city LA school, or Culver High School. And he says, hey, you majored in a... Uh, Teaching, right? You have a teaching certificate, right? And he goes, Yeah, I still have it, but I'm not going to, most likely not going to do anything with it. And, and he says, I got an idea. Why don't you become the basketball coach? We need a new basketball coach. I'm a principal of, of a school. Well, why don't you become the basketball coach? We need a new coach. He says, Oh, come on. I, I, I don't think we'll be doing that. And he convinces him to take, take the job. So it goes out there, and actually the school was like an inner city slump. And but he had an, an interracial basketball team. He had white guys, he had uh, white Italian guys, he had Jewish guys, he had Hispanics, and blacks. On, on the season, he had a multiracial um, team. And of course, uh, one of the players uh, says, "Well, you're the white." I'm gonna be all over you like a shadow. And the player says, Oh, you mean like a uh, white shadow? Because he has to be white. You know? So so he says, Yeah, that's right. And the show took off. Uh, took or so say, took off from there. And the show lasted uh, three years. And it barely made it through the third year because the third year was really lousy because the, most of the players that we got to know and like uh, moved on. Or, or the characters, you know, graduated from the, from the school after two years. Um, so the third year, you had did have a couple, like about three original characters, staying on for the third year of the of, in terms of the basketball players. And but the third year was not as good as the first two years. Now the first two years, he did have some very very good episodes of, of the series. Uh, I do, I do remember one, one particular episode where uh, the coach took over a gym class, and usually he doesn't teach. He do, usually doesn't teach anything, but I guess he can't have, constantly have stuff with him coaching the basketball team and helping with the issues in every every single class, or not every single class, every single episode. So they, they had one kid who was kind of like a wise ass, and he says, "Oh, you know." Who was now on the basketball team, but was kind of a wise ass and a slacker. He says, "Hey, why don't you um, get off of your rear end and join the other team? You paralyzed or something?" And, and he says, "Oh no, I'm not coached, but I have an injury. So what's your injury?" He says, "Can you walk?" I said, "Yeah." Then you can walk over to the um, the rest of the classes. And he decided he didn't like the way that you know Ken Reeves was talking to him when he said to slug him. And of course, the teacher, of course, Ken Reeves hit him back, and the teacher was brought up on charges, and they say the, the teacher got off, Ken Reeves got off. And then by the end of the episode, the guy uh, tried to attack, almost rape the uh, vice principal. And so, of course, the, te the kid finally went to, uh, to jail at the end. But uh, before then, there was a very good scene of another teacher uh, from a different school, but who knew who Ken Reeves was because he was a basketball fan or something and and he heard what happened to him and he showed him all the scores that he had from students so through a nice Adam, uh, one through a, like a bottle Adam, 
hit him over the head with a bottle or a uh, Looked over a shooter that had, had a score in his stomach because he got stabbed by another student. And it was like one of the first shows that showed the type, the, the type of violence that students have on teachers. It was never really uh, presented before on a television show at that time. Any other shows was based on a uh, you know, teacher and, and the school kids. Shows like Welcome Back Carla was very popular, which was a very popular show at the time, which they previously reviewed, which was mostly comedies, and not, not a uh, drama, like like uh, The Right Shadow was, it was kind of, like, it, was, it was a drama. Uh, but the other episode that, one well, of the other episodes that sticks out in my mind, I don't remember if it was the season one or season two, but it was an episode that stored the guy who played Dwayne on... Uh, the, the TV show What's Happening. He was on the show. Uh, who he did, did an episode on the show. Um, the White, uh, uh, and then an episode of The White Shadow, where Ken Reeves saw that this guy could play basketball. I uh, saw that he could play, and encouraged him to join the team. And he wa he wanted to be on the team, but his mother was uh, reluctant for him to be on be on the team because of he wanted. To Concentrate on study on his studies and the schoolwork, which is you know you know reasonable. Uh, the kid says, "Look, I've helped out students who are having trouble with their classes, so so if he happens to fall behind, I can help. I help I can help him out. So it's not so it's not a um, can help him tutoring or whatever. If he needs happens to need tutoring to help, if he fall happens to fall behind in his classes, I can help him out." So the, so the parent, so the mother reluctantly agrees, and there was a, they had like a work, they had a workout, uh, when I work they had practice, and on the team had practice in the gym, and he said, and Ken Reeves thought that the guy wasn't used to the practices, uh, how hard the players have to work out on, on these practices, so his complaining was tired and this and that and everything else. Oh come on! You're just saying because you're not, you know, used to this, you're used to this routine. To so, so do um, five laps on the gym. So, okay, so, so, so okay, of course, but I'm tired. I said, do the five laps. And so as he was running around the gym, all of a sudden he, he screams, he holds his head, and he falls over, and collapses, and he ends up dying in the hospital. Uh, he didn't die of a heart attack. He had like an aneurysm in his brain a brain aneurysm and, and exploded and that's how he died and the doctors told him uh, they talked to us and coach it could have happened anytime it doesn't so happen to happen on your watch but it could have happened anytime any place anywhere uh, but he felt guilty and the parents did blame you know the coach for it but, but at the end the father forgave the coach and uh, I think the mother Still kind of blames him, but understands that it wasn't exactly his fault. At least not 100% his fault. Um, that was, a, was, was pretty good. And another episode that, that kind of sticks out was an episode where um, the team, and during the second season, and I do remember it was like the second season of the series, the team, uh, called the basketball team for the first time in I don't know how many years. Qualifying for the city championship, so it's a big, so it's a big deal. They just won the next to last, or the last playoff game before the championship game, or or, for, or the city championship game. So they're all excited, they're all having a party, and one of the best players on the team, Curtis Jackson, or CJ for short, goes out to the local bar and a local um, liquor store. And you have to understand, when would a teenager go to a uh, liquor store. We haven't said this is the late seventies, and the drinking age was lower than I think it was like eighteen at the time. Um, so you have to understand that, that the drinking age was different. So I don't want to read any comments about going to teenagers going to liquor stores. Um, so he goes to a liquor store, and the liquor store that he that this Curtis Jackson goes into gets robbed, and he had to be in the middle of it, and the, and he, they shot the and the robber, one of the robbers had a gun and shot the clerk, or, sh or shot the owner, and then he saw that 
Curtis was, the uh, CJ was there, he turns around and saw him, they, they saw the whole thing, he shots Curtis, Curtis. and of course he uh, dies. Well, when you don't see him then you see, you, you saw him get shot, he saw the character getting shot, but you didn't see him die. Um, and they said, oh, oh, where's uh, CJ and all that stuff, so they go, go look for him. And they feel like, hey, he was taking too long to come back. Or well, maybe he found a girl or whatever. And of course they called up the Coach Reeves and said, hey, um, CJ got shot. He's dead. He goes, what? What do you mean? What happened? And um, of course the coach found out about and he asked the, um, and he did ask the league if they could, on, on, the, on the, um, the sport, the city athletic commission, whatever it's to postpone the game uh, a few days or a week because uh, one of the players got got killed and they said that we're, try we're trying to come in and see if we can get the game delayed and the player says look coach we decided to in honor of our friend and teammate that we should play the game we feel we should play the game and I says you guys you guys sure about that? I mean, I can get I can call them up and make sure to put push the game, push the game to a to a, while, a week from now. He said, "No, we just say we want to play." And of course, what happens is that the game the game stored, and then um, you didn't see the end of the game, but I found out that the team did win the champion. That Carver won the championship uh, on the city championship, and the end and the Closing scene on the end scene of the episode was when Ken Reeves was, when Coach Reeves was giving up a trophy to each one of the players for being on the championship team. And the last one was to the MVP of the team, which was Curtis Jackson, the player of the kill. And he had uh, Curtis, his brother, his little brother, to uh, accept the trophy on his brother's behalf. And so I thought it was a pretty powerful. Uh, Episode, and there was another episode during the third season when the when three of the players, uh, at least three of the original play, I think two of the original players and one new character from the third season were accosted by the cops, and one of them got one of them ended up getting shot by the cops. Uh, I'm sure the episode today will be, be controversial with all the uh, cop related stuff going on today, uh, but in that time it was a pretty novel. You know, storming like they have, and, and, and it was like 30 or 40 years before any of this other stuff goes on today. Like Eric Brown, Michael Brown, or Eric Gordon, or any of stuff today. I mean, this episode probably would not have aired today, but it aired back then. And of course, the whole stink and the whole McGill that came, came out of it, and, and the coach trying to have the player who got shot, and said, look, look, we. Took it out on Coach Reeves because it was white. I said, "Look, I want to know what the hell happened. What happened?" I said, "Oh, it was a stupid white cops shot us." And the player took it took, took it out on Coach Reeves and of course took it on the cops. We all just shot up half of us because we were a few black kids, uh, a few black guys walking down the street. If we were white, we were not kind of hassle. And and they told the player, "Hey, look what happened. They have three black guys rob a store." In the area where you were walking, and that's why that's why you got stopped. And he says, "Well, well because they tried to get the hammer was they trying to get write down the, the cops' badge numbers, and that's how I got shot." And uh, but but the whole thing was that the cops will pull at uh, least the one who did the shooting got pulled from the police department, and rightfully, and rightfully so, because if you've seen the episode. Uh, there are some episodes of The White Shadow on YouTube. I think it used to be almost all the episodes were, were on YouTube at one point or another. Uh, I don't know how many are now online. Uh, but it is a good show. It, it is a stereotypical 1970 show. But but it was written. Uh, I thought it was one of the better, better shows. And even though it's about basketball, I'm not a basketball fan. But. If the show is good, the show is good. I don't care what sport team it represents. If it's a good show, I will, I will watch it. 
And it was a good show because I like Ken Howard's performance. And also kind of like the players. Uh, the ones who played the players because there were a bunch of colorful characters uh, on, on the show. So I do recommend you catching up the show. Uh, I don't know. I think it's on DVD as well. Now, uh, Netflix, I don't know. I think it is. On Netflix or I don't know if it's on Hulu or any of these other uh, streaming sites. But, but but it is good to check it out. I do recommend the show. So let me review of the White Shadow. Please click on the video. Please read it. Feel free to comment. Please subscribe to my channel. And please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. And also you can check out uh, not only all of my videos on my YouTube channel. But you also can check out also could check out my videos on or, or at least a good chuckle on rowdyc.com that's all or wdy the letter c dot com plus you can also check out all the other content on that website plus the round christy moore who is the rowdy reviewer to check out all, all of his content as well he does a great job reviewing bad television shows so i recommend you check out his his uh website as well thanks for watching catch you next time